Excellent. Huh, I noticed a mistake in my uh, agenda. Okay, October 22nd, uh, 2019, being approximately according to this angle, 703 and a half, 704. We can start the uh, sitting of the Sutton Historical Commission meeting. And um, our first thing on the agenda tonight is approval of minutes from a prior meeting. Our clerk is not present, though I believe he's still coming. So we can table that to see if he's here or not. So I'll take some notes. All right. I'm not seeing any public. So that would tell me there's no public forum or no public hearing. We have had him in the past, Mark, just so you know. <laughs> I don't I, no, I've <laughs> seen him. <laughs> we've, had, we've had public before. I don't want to let down a new member like, okay. I'm pretty sure so there's public out there. I, <laughs> oh, beyond these walls? I think so. <laughs> We would go with uh, number four, which is board business. 4A is an open discussion. Is there anybody who would like to add anything uh, for open discussion tonight? Nothing mentioned at town meeting or anything regarding us, correct? There's nothing at the town meeting regarding anything of historical uh, interest. Town meeting was mostly taking care of some financial details mm -hmm. from last year's budget and mm -hmm. some uh, zoning changes and a couple of two or three studies to investigate dams dams and the uh, sewer to uh, Stevens Pond and the Woodburyville Pond uh, oh the dam the, the issue with the under the road yes this is just to get money to go to in, start investigating analysis it, analysis see what it is what needs to be done this is nothing to, for construction. When was the road going to collapse? Oh. Is there an issue? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Is a dam privately owned or publicly? Do you know? I've right. heard different <coughs> comments. So haven't I? That's why I was just. I don't to know. Answer. I guess I heard I was, privately. I heard it was private, but now the, the town is is the one that's doing the uh, uh, okay. investigation. Well, the town owns the property where the chicken mill is. It used to be owned there, though. Oh. I don't know where's the chicken mill. Where the pump fire station is on the other side. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It used to be the I know. The, 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 I do know from a historical perspective, the dam was built so they could get ice. That's correct, because right on the other side of the road is the old ice factory right. with the metal chute under the ground. Yep, and uh, Bud Gurney years ago took me for a little drive around town and pointed that, that No one out. knows it's there, but if you look in the woods, the, the, the relic's still there, yeah. and the ice chute is still there. Is it really? Mm -hmm. I didn't see the ice chute. It was, pretty was when I was in there last there time. There was a water wheel somewhere along there. Was there? There was, uh, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there was really nothing that affected us at that oh. time. I think you said the bridge opened up over... Uh, I did yeah. see that, right? Yeah, good point. Blackstone Bridge. The Tricentennial Park. That was just this week, or, yeah. or within this week. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should uh, now go back to that site just to check how the park took the uh, hit, because there were, no pun intended, parking all around the park and in the park. So... Well, I was there a couple of weeks ago, and there was still all this construction equipment and the fences. You know, the road wasn't open. Uh, I know, you know, the, uh, the meat processing plant there, you know, they, they have a lot of uh, trucks parked in the aggregate. So they must be pretty busy because they couldn't park along Blackstone Street. Mm -hmm. You know, just wheeling in and out. They're just waiting for a day to get in there, get their stuff, and get out of there. But um, they've had the whole, it's been a secure, what I call a secure site. You don't really, you're not supposed to have access to it. The last half a dozen times, I go in there every few weeks just to see. So I haven't been down there since they opened it. So it's something to do this week. Okay, yeah, that would be good since I, during the day, it's hard for me. But yeah. I can poke, it's going to be dark soon. Oh, I'll, try to, I'll try to get in there. I think it is dark. Exactly. Daylight savings will help, though. <laughs> 
You can go Saturday. Yeah, yeah it'll be 4 <laughs> o'clock instead of 5.30. <laughs> Oh yeah, because no, we. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we fall back, right? No. Yeah. Was it no six? Or I forgot the old saying. Yeah. Spring ahead, fall back. Yeah. Excuse mm -hmm. me, that's my daughter's toilet. Let me shut that off. <laughs> um. Okay, so you don't mind maybe doing a ride by? No, I'll do one. We call it a ride by at our age, not a drive by. Okay. Excellent. Any other open discussion? What? Well, just to go back. Well, how was it left with the dam at Woodburyville? Well, there's no water in there. It, it's just. Uh, yeah, they, they both both of them got money for a study. Yeah, they both got studies, and the other dam was Stevens Dam, and. Woodburyville, there was posted that they weren't planning on filling that up again. Did anyone hear that again? Was that at the meeting? That they was an option just to leave it. They did not get into it. I, I don't know. You see comments on Facebook. I don't. I don't think a lot of people realize that that was a man-made. Mm -hmm. I think they just thought it was a real pond or lake or whatever you want to call it. Right. But that was a whole man-made creation to get ice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I don't. I don't know the details. I've asked a couple of people in here, and I haven't got any specifics. For making ice, and just to educate some of our younger generation, that wasn't ice you put in your drinks. It was a block of ice to keep your refrigerator cold. They would saw it, store it in sawdust underground or in a wooden uh, structure, and it would last all summer. Sawdust, your best insulator. Okay. Well, one of your members sitting here remembers having a cottage with an ice box. Mm -hmm. I've <laughs> sold many of them at Brimfield, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So happy when you got a refrigerator. <laughs> Not worth much anymore. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? All right. Next one is uh, Manchog certificates. Done. Yeah. I talked to Jen. We had a little conversation. We were thinking of getting everyone together to do something. But next thing I know, I got an email. They're all here ready to sign. Can you come up and pick them up? That was on a Monday. So I went up on a Monday, picked them up. I don't know. There was over 200, I think 230-something. But it was a, bin, a mail bin full. And they were, like, in perfect order. She had everything, all the envelopes with the addresses, so, needless to say, no, I think you just missed it by a couple uh, houses, right? Yeah, it, it, it went by the date of the houses. As I said, it wasn't the date of my house, it was the property. What was on the property was just a canal. Well, yeah, but I think uh, it didn't matter how new the house was. I think they had, are you going up the hill? Yeah. Yeah, I think they cut it at the bottom is where the cutoff was. Because I was sending some to empty lots. No, no, because um, I, I saw one of the papers when we were at the Manchog Mills and somebody halfway up the hill was supposed to get one. What's your address? 33. 33. Mumford. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to be specific, if you drive up that hill and you come to the junction of Duval Road, I'm the house on the left-hand side over the banking. Okay. Uh, about 500 feet from the Douglas line, and if you... They don't have any sign. You have to look for the granite and lava. So you wouldn't know unless you really know where you're That's going. the canal, though, that came in, right? And the canal is on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. I still have the towpath in front of me and part of the canal. Okay. But that cutoff point was that. like two houses down. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. And I was like... I was told because there was no historical significance in your property, so they wouldn't even take a bother with it. I don't know if it was so much the property. It was, if I remember correctly, so this there was a canal, but then there was some, like a little little inlet that went right to the factory, right? That went under the roads. And I, my understanding was they weren't quite sure where was what. I don't know. I'll look it up, though. I got... I have some info on that. And ask I Jen. Jen was there. She yeah. walked over it because it was icy. Yeah, I'll ask. Okay. So they're done. Um, 
nailed. A couple corrected ones were re-nailed. So I think we did all right in the sense that we we got them out in, in a timely manner, and they were professionally done. I mean, uh, Michelle was a big help in that with you, me, Christine. Mm -hmm. She had the, mm -hmm. the pictures. Mm -hmm. and the she knows how to like make it look right. All right. So I got that uh, noted. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have anything about that? All right. Old business. I suppose old business could be the Blackstone Street Bridge, even though that's under open discussion. Because we did, as a commission, go down, we inspected. I mean, we saw the very early stages of the breach of the uh, that got taken care of. tow bridge. To now completion, which I'm, I haven't been there yet, but we did see that from the beginning to the end. So that might be part of old business. Has anyone seen the completed bridge? No. Okay. I've seen the completed bridge. I just haven't been over it because you can go up on the top of Blackstone Street and look down. You can? Because oh, yeah. when I, I, I went to the bottom and I wanted to walk down that side rail and look at it, but I couldn't because they had vehicles all down there and it was all, though they had an open driveway to get to somebody's property to the right at one point. There's a house with a driveway right. down by the walking <laughs> right. path. Right. You know, on this side of the river. It's like, okay. <laughs> so I didn't want to overstep my bounds, but okay. So we'll That's a private. It is private. I, as far as I know, mm -hmm. yeah. I've been with you. I've never walked down that driveway. Yeah. But you did mention the, um, it wasn't the breach, but when they came in and removed all that earth, but they did a great job mm -hmm. in a timely manner to put it all back together again. I you couldn't even up. tell. You, so you can't tell. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know, you would never know that anything had ever happened. So it was, it was very helpful. The state got involved with that. And they got people up here mm -hmm. that knew what they were doing and the contractor reacted. It was good. You're, uh, once we're all gone from this commission and this new commission, no one will even really know that it happened. No. Mm -hmm. You can go down there now and probably not know that it ever happened. It looked, it was filled in like months after, meaning grass was on it. It looked like it, nothing had happened. And that was <coughs> a year and a half ago, at least a year ago. All right. Any other old business? New business. Is it me or is it hot in here? Warm and warm. Okay. I thought I was going through the change. All right. I I have an observation, but I don't know if you want to go now or you want to go later. And, and I don't... I mean, the fact is that over on the corner of Lincoln Road and the Central Turnpike, there was a house in the mid-1700s. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was... Uh, you would not believe how quickly that thing came down. The barn came down, and then it's just like... You know, I, I would know, and I'm not running all over the place looking for this. I think there's at least three barns that of the uh, 250, three, you know, 300, you know, 250, we'll just say, 200, you know, year old vintage is just coming down. And it's like. Well, Rodemick is getting rebuilt. It is? Yeah. Oh, if wow. you go down there now, you'll see they had two sections up. Oh, I was finding it the other day. I don't, I don't know if they're shortening it overall, because I know it had a foundation issue, so oh, they okay. took it down. Fixed the foundation, and now they're in the process of putting oh, it back good. up. Well, they've got a, they've, they've got like three lots over on the uh, the one I was talking about. Yeah, they they, they sold that property. That was the old. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the but, but the uh, selectman owned that for years. Uh, I can't remember the name of the original property, but anyway, it, yeah, it was sold, and there's three sub subdividable lots in there. Yeah. So they had to make way with the house. Would have been nice to save something from it. I don't know. I heard someone got framing. Someone uh, got other parts of it. I saw beans loaded on a flatbed truck on a Sunday. And At the end, it. was yeah. it yeah. pretty much when it was just the frame? Uh, it was half, half and half. They were taking the beans out of it and 
putting on, it was, I'm like, didn't you do it on a Sunday taking this? And I'm like. I was told that most of that wood had to be destroyed because of how the first beam. I don't know if it's you true You don't have to not. destroy it, you can kill them. But they were, they were putting it on a trailer, they weren't destroying it. I don't know, that was the. How come they're doing it on a Sunday? Well, that's what I, I mean. I was I was moving cows and I was like. <laughs> Some of our other organizations we have stipulations about Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do not do these things on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, unless you get permission from somebody. <laughs> it was amazing to see how well they cleaned that whole property. You wouldn't yeah. know there was that a building chimney. Next to that's I would have liked to have seen that. Mm. What if there was a smokehouse in there? Or it was it definitely was, a multi. It was huge. <laughs> yeah. So we had a uh, a proposal for a demolition delay bylaw years ago. I want to say it was 15 maybe years ago or more. Yeah. Of um, preventing that from happening. You know, just not stopping it, but managing it so that a resource could be kept for the town, historical value, maybe reuse of that particular frame. I don't know. Anyway, it was shot down. And this is why it's going to keep happening. So we may want to consider that in the future. Even in um, the city of Newton, if they get a historic halt on demo, it's only for one year. So if someone with deep pockets can s s just sit and as soon as that year expires, <laughs> knock it down. Yeah, but we didn't even want that. We wanted 60 days or something just to prevent. The whole idea is just so that someone can't just come in and knock it down mm -hmm. and then before anyone can think about it. Because then you have options. You know, There could be funds available for reuse. There could be a lot of things. And yeah. You know, just to take, I mean, the house, that house is probably 1750s, I'm going to say, maybe 60s. Yeah, there was a sign on it, really. Yeah, that was a general time frame. Yeah. You know, um, well, it is what it is. Can't look back. But good point, Wally. Thank you. Any other new business? Four observations. For observations, yeah, because we're going to say that's, we're not going to say that's yeah, a new business observation, but still, <laughs> you know, um, demo bylaw, you know, we had that at the same time we were looking to do a, um, a uh, I forget what the name of it was, we'll do, you could go 1%, 2%, or 3%, the, uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name. This is what happens when you get over 50. Uh, and people felt like it was a tax and that they didn't want it, but a lot of that, those funds, are, and I've done some research lately with it. Some of those towns have millions and millions of dollars to reuse for historic preservation, open space, or recreational. And low income housing. And low income housing, right? That was one of the caveats you could do, right? One of our abutting communities is, has received eight million. So far, yeah, eight million. Yeah, since eight its inception. Yeah, and it, and at the beginning, the state was matching it by fifty percent. It was a hundred percent match at one point. Yeah, now I think it's in the thirties. Yeah. But still, where else are you going to get thirty percent on your money? It used to be a hundred. If you raised five hundred thousand, they gave you a hundred five hundred thousand. And then it went to 50, and they were matching whoever adopted the highest percentage first. So if you adopted the 3%, they were going to match that. Then, then it went to next would be two, and then one, depending on how much funds were in this particular uh, preservation. E, uh, preservation. <laughs> I can't think of any other. Oh, my Lord. Everyone that worked with me on it is going to think keys. John is probably going keys, really. And there's been talk of it coming up again. And it's all how it's presented. And that was an exhausting time for me. It was Halls Mills. It was that. 
It was the demolition delay bylaw, all within like two or three years. Okay. Announcements, correspondence. Nothing out of New Hampshire. <laughs> okay, I got two. I failed to bring them tonight because I was a little rushed. Um, but the first one was from MassDOT. They're doing a 146 pavement project. And if I remember correctly, it's only our southern edge of our property, I mean our town line, on 146. And then it went into Douglas, Northbridge, Uxbridge. We were talking about last night. It fits oh. the, that section down there. Yeah, so they're redoing it, and they were looking to see if there was any kind of issues. But I think we had talked about this a year or two back. Not that section. We talked about it in the middle. We talked about like it right Marble Village. Yeah. Boston Road. Yeah, but they're not coming up this far. Whitens Road. Is it at Whitens? Yeah, it's Whitens. Yeah, Whitens Road, Main Street. Well, yeah. the last that one we reviewed south. where we had the drawings was right here. Right here, right, yeah. all the way up. Yeah. Go by Marble Village, right? Is it hard to have? Yeah. 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 They've already done all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So will it, would they do resurface the road up yeah. to the town line? I don't know. I'll have to check it. It's a resurfacing, if I remember correctly. They did a major upgrade down there. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and they, the federal government had this, if you got a project ready, we'll do it. And that project was ready, so they did most of the road all the way down. And they're constantly working in Oxford. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're doing all the off-ramps there. Yeah, with they're the doing the off-ramps, and they're doing the uh, guardrails, and they're repaving, and they're re doing resurfacing, I guess you could say. But it's a horrible. But they were on 146 when they made the Hayward Highway. my time here. The bridge is still there before they did the dual highway part of it mm -hmm. down near Oxford line. Wow. And that northern merge from exit two is horrible. You can't see until you're right there on the road. But anyway, it's got nothing to do with what we're talking about. Okay, any uh, other comments on the 146 project? And I also got uh, correspondence from Mass Historic Commission Notifying us of the 2020 gra uh, grant round. Uh, matching grant. Is it matching? Yeah, matching. So I don't know what, I think we had talked about this that it was because we just got last year's, no, 2018's, late 2018's to do Manchog. And we decided we should hold off because it, it seems like we're always asking every year or two. But we might want to consider what we want to look into just in case. So that ends in March, I think. I think that's when the we can check. All right. Any other announcements or correspondence? Growing started. Is that distracting? No. Fully adjourned? Okay. It looks like 727. Is there any uh, motion? Like an airplane, yeah. I can make a motion to adjourn the meeting. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor of adjourning without any other business? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Adjourned. Being seven.